Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is January the 6th, 2020. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk things in the news. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I don't know him, but let me offer a shout out with hopes for a quick recovery to Dr. Dre. Now we all have our short list of great albums, right? For me, Dr. Dre's The Chronic is on my list with, among others, Thriller by Michael Jackson, Sade's Diamond Life, Prince's Purple Rain, Miles Davis's Kind of Blue, the Jimi Hendrix Experiences Smash Hits, The Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die, The Saturday Night Fever Soundtrack, The Original Superfly Soundtrack by Curtis Mayfield, and The Doors' debut album. Hope you leave some of your album thoughts in the comment section of this video. Let's talk about boxing. Let's talk about life. You have a friend who's a great athlete, right? Spectacular athlete. He's in his mid twenties, right? Let's say he's on the older side of 21. And he announces that he wants to learn and play NBA basketball. Now look, I understand. Hakeem Olajuwon started late. Not this late, but he started late. We understand Manute Bowl may have started this late. Who knows how old Manute Bowl really was. We heard that Tim Duncan couldn't swim in the local pool and so he took up NBA basketball. Right? Took up basketball, got the college scholarship, ended up in the NBA. But let's just say, those outlier stories notwithstanding, I'd be betting against you. There are too many people, way too many, who have played basketball from when they were first able to walk, who have dreams of the big time, who've been honing their games in grade school, in AAU basketball, in high school, for someone to show up late and leapfrog the crowd. I just don't see it happening. So, to the gamblers out there, Claressa Shields, the top female boxer, in my opinion, right? One of the best jabs in boxing, any gender, in my opinion, right? Unbeaten, has fought big names, has beaten them. I thought Christina Hammer had a shot on her. She did not. Well, Clarissa Shields, who's in her mid-twenties, is now planning to pivot to fight in the MMA. Right? Apparently in her twenties. She has decided mixed martial arts is a sport she wants to pursue while she pursues her boxing career. Right now, I'll just put it simply. The minute she starts competing against the top MMA people, assuming she gets by, the easier touches that they're going to put her in with early. The minute she hops in with Amanda Nunez, Valentina Shevchenko, Holly Holm, I'll be betting against her. Right? I know Holm is the outlier. Holm's the person who was a boxer, excellent boxer, then segued into MMA. I believe that's harder than it seems. There seems to be some illusion out there where we believe that Conor McGregor can compete with Floyd Mayweather. Right? You have Khabib talking about fighting Mayweather, being approached at least by the Mayweather people. Well, 
these are two different disciplines right there they're two different sports I understand both involve combat but when I'm breaking down a fight of let's say Canelo and I'm thinking gee yeah Canelo has these skills and stuff like that you know it's outside my reference frame to think that his opponent might be able to hit Canelo in the head with a kick knock Canelo down then jump on top of Canelo and work him over on the canvas right folks these are two different sports the MMA people are elite athletes just like the boxing people are elite athletes they don't translate it's a tribute to Conor McGregor that he was able to go a few rounds with Mayweather although of course if you looked at the fight and if you knew Mayweather's style you understood Mayweather was carrying him right but let's not kid ourselves there's a grand canyon between these two sports right put differently there's not a single person in boxing not one whether it's heavyweight champion Tyson Fury or pound for pound greats like Terence Crawford and Canelo who I would take in an MMA match over Khabib it doesn't translate so now I'm supposed to believe that Clarissa Shields in her 20s I don't care how dominant a boxer she is she's now gonna segue into MMA hey I'm a skeptic I think this is easy money the minute I hear that she signed up to fight Shevchenko or Nunez or someone that caliber if you can find somebody else the caliber of Amanda Nunez in MMA right the minute she hits the top rung a champion or a world-class highly rated contender I'll be get betting against Clarissa Shields right it's a free country Clarissa Shields can do what she wants I'm not here to stop her from pursuing an MMA career I admire people who put themselves out there and are willing to pursue their dreams check some boxes off the bucket list but gambling is a different world entirely right if you're gambling you're in it to make money you have to assess the odds just like it'd be ridiculous for someone in their mid-twenties to decide that they want to be an NFL quarterback right ridiculous in my opinion given the level of preparation the other people with that dream have had the level of experience the other people with that dream have had right high school football college football etc you don't show up in the middle of a you know game and say hey I want to be an NFL quarterback and think you're gonna know how to handle a pass rush like a Russell Wilson that just doesn't happen newbies are newbies well I view it's, it it is equally ridiculous this is even with Holly Holm having made the trans the transition right maybe this background's getting to me here I don't know but you know even with Holly Holm having made the transition I'll be fading Clarissa Shields's attempt to do so against high caliber competition anyway that's how I see it let me hear from you I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video let me point out too that the best bets that a person can make are the ones you see from miles away in other words we should all have a list of bets that we like before the event even takes place right for example I've liked Tyson Fury over Anthony Joshua for years right longtime subscribers know that I don't think the two guys are that close right I heard that 
Tyson Fury recently said he could dust off Joshua in two rounds. When I first read the statement, I thought, wow, that's one round more than I thought. No, okay, well, we'll just put it this way, right? That fight's not yet announced. You realize boxing can keep you waiting for years for obvious fights, right? How many years did we wait for Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao? How many years have we waited for Amir Khan against Cal Brook? One would assume that Tyson Fury is going to fight Anthony Joshua at least within the next eight months. But who knows with boxing? But what I do know is in that fight, I'm taking Tyson Fury. I've known that for years. Well, let's just say Clarissa Shields. I know now that if she fights Amanda Nunez in two years, and Amanda Nunez is still Amanda Nunez, right, hasn't been in a car crash, hasn't taken up a drug habit, right, is still dedicated to the sport, hasn't retired and been out of the octagon, right, if Amanda Nunez is still Amanda Nunez, folks, that's an easy bet for me to make, right, I hope. The promotion is a slick one. I hope the promotion shows highlights of Clarissa Shields being dominant in boxing. Right? I hope there's an event between now and then where an MMA person faces a boxing person. And it's a spirited match, like the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather match was. Because maybe that'll even tilt the odds the way I want them to tilt. That much more. Right? But Amanda Nunez has been at this too long, has refined her craft too much for a newbie in their 20s to think they have a chance against her. I'm a skeptic of Clarissa Shields' career. It's one thing if she just wants to dabble in MMA and face low-hanging fruit. Right, People who aren't elite contenders. But if her goal is to rise to the top, I'm fading this play. You could be a great boxer and be completely uncompetitive against an elite MMA fighter in MMA. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.